Mr. Hancock was 38 years old when he witnessed the first Baha'i National Convention here in Leh in 1968. We didn't have so many delegates because it was very small and first one and there was just a few from the islands and the highlands and when we got together all the highlands delegates came they all had bows and arrows and I thought hey you know one of them came there. <laughs> He came to PNG in July 1954 from New Zealand to establish a Baha'i community. The pioneer has attended 49 of the fate national conventions. This is my home after nearly 50 years living here. For the first time in decades, a political head of the country, the Governor General Grand Chief Sir Bob Dadai, today officially opened the 50th convention. The Governor-General also unveiled a miniature model of the Baha'i National House of Worship that will be constructed in Port Moresby soon and will be used by all religions. He said the weaving design is common throughout PNG that represents unity, which is the main principle of the faith. PNG's Secretary of the Baha'i National Spiritual Assembly Confucius E. Correra thanked the Governor-General and Lady Hannah for being part of the celebration today. He said the delegates will soon elect the nine new Assembly members and will also consult on their community building activities in the country. These activities include spiritual education programs for children, youth and adults. Because the faith uh, is for everyone, you know, the revelation of Baha'u'llah. It's for everyone, it's not just for Baha'is. So these programs are important uh, for us to involve the communities in. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lake.